Hi guys, welcome to part 6 of my Zwift racing series. Today is my first ever Cat A race. If you've been following the series, you'll know that in my last video I got disqualified from my uh, Cat B crit race. And that was because I was overpower. Now what to do in this situation is divided opinion. A lot of people have said go into a Cat A race, but equally a lot of people have said I should stick with Cat B because yeah I was overpower but it was only a crit race and I was only just overpower so yeah not really a hundred percent sure the correct way to go I thought hey we'll try a Cat A crit race it's what I should have been in last time so let's do it this time and just see what happens so today we're doing the crit city race and we've entered Cat A there's not many people in this race so far on the app it's 15 minutes before the start of the race and so far on the app there are 15 people, 16 people signed up. So I'm not sure how this is going to go. I'm not feeling as good as I felt before the last race. Before the last race I had loads of energy and today I just don't. But we'll see what happens. If I can sort of finish in the top half of the classified results, I'll be happy. Okay, so um, nothing more to say in the intro really, apart from please subscribe if you haven't already. And let's carry on with the race. So that didn't really go to plan. I'm probably looking a little bit worse for wear now because I've completed about half of a crit race and then realized that I forgot to screen record the laptop. So wanting to get some footage to actually make a video this week, I decided to quit that race and there is another race that starts in half an hour. So safe to say I'm pretty warmed up now. Um, status of that race was I was keeping with the front group just and then when I realized what I'd done, I pretty much lost the front group because my attention went so this time we're going to do the Kirchmer race series, which is just a 10k race uh, in New York, I believe, which is my least favourite track. But it should be quick, and it means that total I've done just a little bit more than a crit would normally be. So, hey, you never know that warm-up of doing the first bit of the crit might have actually really helped me. Okay, so let's cut to the race now. I'm going to start recording this super early, so I, I don't miss it. Just under four minutes to go here. There's only about 12 people maybe in this race. 14. There's 14 people in this race. It does not feel good to have gone quite hard and then had a break of about half an hour. And I've tried to sit here just spinning away to keep my legs moving, but it does not feel good. Alright, let's uh, yeah, cut straight to the start of the race now. And we'll do the commentary uh, afterwards, as usual. Okay, so uh, a few seconds to go and we're off putting the power down and as always getting off to a decent start I was at the front as well starting so I didn't do bad and then for the start of this race it's it's pretty good it's not that hard I'm staying with the front group and I stay with the front group for quite a long time um, so yeah I mean I'm eighth but I'm kind of in the mix here in the front and yeah I'm gaining on the front so I've not done any research into this track. It's nothing like the crit uh, track that I'm used to because there's uh, a lot of elevation changes and that ultimately is what hurts me, I think, in this race. Um, yeah, so I'm staying with the front for a lot of the beginning of the race. We'll stay with it till about just under a kilometer in and then we'll jump forward to the more interesting parts because it does stay like this for the first sort of half um, so it's only a 10 kilometer race, it's really short and I thought people would be going harder with it being shorter. So I'm quite happy with the amount of power I'm having to put down to keep this position at this point. And I am until halfway through the race. So yeah, it says there are 19 people, I think nearly, nearly half of them actually get dropped I think in Swift Power in the classified results. So yeah, about a kilometre in and staying well. So then we're at six kilometres in here and this is the first sort of interesting thing that happens. I'm currently in the mix still and then I kind of end up dropping the group slightly. So there's a little bit of a climb and I start losing the group on this climb. I don't lose them by much, but I lose them a little bit. And I'm a little bit worried, but I put a bit more power down and then there is a descent and I do manage to catch them up and I think I know why this has happened I think I should have my trainer difficulty for this course quite high maybe 75% because it's quite lumpy when I'm getting to the ascents 
I'm not getting the resistance increase that the other guys are getting, so I don't have to naturally put out more power. But then when I'm getting to the de descent, uh, I'm not getting the reduction in resistance, so it's easier for me to put out more power than it is the other guys, so that's why I catch them up again on the descent. Uh, I think I'm right in this sort of thoughts that I'm having. Uh, let me know in the comments if I'm wrong. So yeah, I managed to, because of the descent, I managed, it was only a small ascent, and then because of the descent, I managed to catch them up again. So yeah, I'm quite happy with that. So only three kilometers to go now. Okay, so then it happens again. So I'm with the front group, we're on quite a flat little section here. Um, I'm quite happy with the amount of power I'm having to put out, it's not a huge amount. And then everyone sort of groups up to me, and then there's this climb, and people start getting away again and start overtaking me. And you can see here that the climb is a little steeper than last time, it reached 10% there. And I'm really not getting the resistance increase here, so I do gear up. Um, that doesn't seem to help so much. And yeah, they just they just pull away. And I try getting out of the saddle, but I don't know if I'm tired or I don't know why I was so poor out of the saddle there, because I've not been that poor in sprints before. But yeah. Bye bye. That's literally what I said during the race. Bye bye. I knew that that was it. I wasn't catching them again for the rest of the race. It's quite a long little climb and considering the size of the race and I'm just on my own now. And this is where I stay. I'm on my own for the next 2.3 kilometers because the guy behind me is 12 seconds behind and getting further behind me, he's not in a little group. So he's not going to catch me up. Right. We're jumping to the end of the race here. He's still 20 seconds behind. The guy in front's 15 seconds in front. I'm on my own and as you can see, I didn't have to put out huge efforts for that last section where I were on my own, but it felt pretty tough uh, compared to what it would have felt like if I'd have managed to stay with that front group. So yeah, here we are across the line, uh, across the line, on Swift, I'm 11th. I'm knackered. But I think that was a bit of a fail on my part. Let's talk about it in the analysis. Okay, so a really quick analysis today because there's not really that much to talk about, but in the end, in the classified results, I came ninth out of 12. So not the top half I was hoping for, but I think I understand what actually went wrong. I think it was the fact that my training difficulty was set low, combined with the fact that I just lost the group and I should have just gone harder. I should have tried harder. I should have been better at staying with that front group. And ultimately, that's what's lost it, just like happened a few races ago. Exactly, exactly the same thing happened then. Um, so interesting things here are... My average watt per kilogram is 4.3. So the reason I think that's interesting is because if I'd have gone in the Cat B race, it would have been borderline whether I'd have got disqualified. I'm not sure if I would have done not looking at the top races in Cat B. It would have been borderline. But regardless, um, I think I was in the right category for such a short race. Um, it was still fun. It's still good to increase my fitness in this way. And it was a good first a race to be involved in. I'm going to try and do an A crit next week and um, hopefully that goes better and I do finish in top 50% like I want. Uh, so what positives can we take out of this in the results is no one with less power than me finished in front. Is that positive? Not sure. So yeah that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave any comments or tips you've got below and uh, don't forget to subscribe.